Alrighty, so to do our fried chicken in this, and this is the consistency of it. It can be a little thicker if you wish, but this is okay for me. We've done it on the fork. Alright, so in this I have flour. It doesn't matter how purposeful me have, so I'm use that. So it's flour. I have a little bit of um, all-purpose seasoning, garlic powder. I put a little bit of um, paprika powder, and me want my chicken is a little bit spicy, so I put a couple droplets of pepper in it, and then it does put water in it. Like put it in the fritters and just beat it out. And then now this is the butter, and then this is the the, the flour dip. So this are just plain flour because remember the chicken is already seasoned. You season chicken how you want it. We don't over season this either because then if you over season this plus you see your chicken is well seasoned then you know say that got salt all right so i have my chicken here already seasoned um so the first step is I dip it inside please don't mind my kitchen kind of missing out clean yeah clean and wash and everything so dip the chicken into the floor into the butter sorry then we we'll put it into the another flour mix all right let me show you something where i look for so after you do that you skim it kind of like you're scanning it like us let me show you where i'll go look for you shake it off a little bit shake off the excess you want to see them little flakes eh? that will help you give you fl your flakes all right you can double butter if you wish or if not so you see that you know, get nice flaky chicken just based on them little flakes up on it all right so for the frying process we have my hand it on the um frying pot i've had this oil on so all me check it <laughs> still a flow on my hands and i just pinch off a little piece and drop in there and see how it go Ooh. see that it's ready all right, so I'm gonna drop my chicken. I look like it's a little bit too hot. So after I'm gonna drop in my chicken, then I'm going to turn the flame down just a little bit. You want to see the rumble then you put it in there. If you don't see that, then you're all too cold and you have the end of your soggy chicken. So like it rumbles so now, I'm gonna go turn it down just a little bit. Dirty hands, I'm so sorry. Oh, my luck of a fire. <laughs> Alright, so go back and check. So I turn I turn on the flame just a little bit. Um what you want for the do, you want to watch all your bubbles then in other part is. So you don't want it, you see how it was rumbling right through. You don't want to have it a rumble like that right through because then if that happened, guess what happened now? The fire too high, then your chicken get brown on the outside and inside don't cook. And also another tip, make sure when you go fry your chicken, make sure you say your chicken thaw to right through. So that too will help with the cooking process as well. So no have no ice tonight for cold um for cold your oil. So it's already been about nine or ten minutes since I've had the chicken frying and I've flipped it a couple times. And I don't remember if I mentioned that the oil as well. That's how it they you know the, the chicken kinda like floats a little bit. Mind you, that is one of the ways that you also know that the chicken is finished once your feet get light and floating a little bit. Just like fried dumpling. So um I'm gonna flip it over a while ago. I'ma just stop the side. And you notice the fork will slide right through there. It just go right through. Just flat right you want it not buck one bone so when you do that you look to see what come out for bloody water you know say uh uh so you know see for bloody water you know say it's uh so the water is running clear that's coming out of it i'm gonna just make it stay another one minute in there and then we we'll take it out and put it in the rest so guys this video was um actually not meant for me to post but um i was doing this fried chicken i was like a kind of tutorial for a friend of mine that's so why not share i mean probably can help somebody else who to tell i mean i'm not perfect at it but at least i get you know a good enough fried right, chicken so, 
Yeah, also, um, there's something that I also still forgot to um, mention as well. That um, no, the thighs and the that. leg they will take longer Sorry. to fry. When you're doing the breast, it should take and you about for thawed chicken. It I should take you about have, eight um, to nine minutes, and the chicken should be fried so through. Um, if not, you know, you just make it stay in a little bit, a little extra two minutes, oh, and you should be okay. Chicken. This is the crotch. <laughs>